Hello everyone, today we are making multi-grain, multi-vegetable flatbread. As you can see, there are so many vegetables and uh, green leaves. I've soaked the poha for around uh, half an hour and I'm going to take that. As you see, there's not much water, so just take enough water to soak it. Uh, you can use red poha as well. I'm adding semolina, 4 tablespoons. Suji, it can be uh, coarse or uh, fine. Now we are going to add ragi, nashni flour, 2 tablespoons. Next is bajra, again 2 tablespoons. You can actually use any, any grain of your choice. Whole wheat flour, 1 and a half cups. The one we use for making regular chapatis. Basin or gram flour again around 4 tablespoons. This is to give the binding. Now I'm going to add all the vegetables. You can use vegetables of your own choice. I've used carrots, onions, cabbage, coriander leaves. I've used moringa leaves. I've used spinach, green chilies, capsicum or green uh, big green chilies. This is kasuri methi, just crush with your hands and add around 1 tablespoon, salt to taste. Now we are going to add the other masalas like turmeric powder, red chilli powder, coriander powder, roasted cumin powder, dry mango powder, armchur and garam masala, 2 teaspoons of each. This is jeera, cumin seeds, 2 teaspoons and I'm going to add the sesame seeds as well for the crunch, around 2 teaspoons. I'm going to give it a nice mix, first mix everything dry properly then add a little oil around 2 teaspoons or 2 tablespoons as per your choice and um, give it a nice mix. Now add a little water at a time and mix. You can use your hand to make a smooth dough. We need a soft dough like a, a little softer than the chapati dough. Because we are going to make it with hand. Uh, we are not going to use uh, the balan and the roller. So we are going to, uh, we need a softer dough. Uh, use a baking paper, grease with some oil. Take a small ball of the dough and put that into the baking sheet and flatten it with your palms. Apply a little oil if you need and flatten it. It should not be very thin. You can see the thickness. Heat a skillet or non-stick pan on medium heat. Flip over the flat bread. And now we're gonna make some holes so that the oil seeps in really well. Uh, you can use a chopstick as I've used. Now if you're a vegan, you can use any oil. Uh, I've used ghee and you can also use butter. Flip and cook on both sides beautifully. This hole helps the ghee to seep in very beautifully and as you can see, it's gone to the other side as well. Now I'm going to cook it for around 3-4 to four minutes on medium heat till it turns nice and golden brown. It's almost done and we are going to take it out in few minutes. Yes, it's done. It goes really well with a hot cup of chai or coffee, pickle or yogurt or you can enjoy it just like that. Have fun. Bye-bye.